Barrie, Ontario is a vibrant city in Simcoe County that offers plenty of activities and attractions for residents and visitors. No matter your interests whether natural, historic, or leisure Barrie offers something special. In this video we explore the best must-see sites and activities in Barrie to ensure you make the most of your visit to this charming Canadian city. So, here is the list of the 10 best things to do in Barrie, Ontario. Before we start, make sure you subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for the latest upcoming travel videos. Here we go. Number 1. Horseshoe Resort. Its handy location relative to the densely populated Greater Toronto Area makes Barrie, and it surrounds one of the best places to visit in Ontario for skiing and other outdoor pursuits. Leading the way is the popular Horseshoe Resort. Set in the picturesque Horseshoe Valley just 20 minutes drive from Barrie's city centre, Horseshoe Resort is especially popular with new skiers and has over 100 ski instructors based in their ski school. Not that die-hard skiers and snowboarders won't have fun. Boasting a 91-meter vertical and plenty of lifts to get you quickly to the top of the slopes, the resort also offers excellent night skiing. Number 2. Flying Monkeys Craft Brewery. Flying Monkeys may just make the most wild and eccentric beers in the province. At the very least, they certainly produce the craziest-looking cans in the world of Ontario breweries. Barry's most well-known brewery should be on your list of things to do in Barry, Ontario if you're a fan of beer, or simply a fan of people doing things a little differently. They brew some powerful beers as well with some especially high percentages, but as they say, normal is weird. Actually, on their site they sum themselves up perfectly when noting, to us, brewing beers the same way everyone else does it, well, it's just plain weird. Number 3. Spirit Catcher Sculpture. Barrie also just so happens to be home to the iconic Spirit Catcher sculpture. A backdrop for many selfies, wedding shoots, and family group photos, this iconic landmark graces the waterfront between Heritage Park and the city's Marina Boardwalk. Originally constructed for the Vancouver Expo in 1986 by artist Ron Baird, this massive steel structure was dismantled and shipped to its new home overlooking Kempenfelt Bay in 1987. Part of the McLaren Art Center's outdoor artwork collection, this huge sculpture stands 21 meters tall with a span of 25 meters and weighs in at some 20 tons. Believe it or not, it also actually moves. Well, at least part of it does. The 16 large, dangling quills hang freely from its outstretched wings and, when the wind blows, they move gently back and forth, making for a surprising effect. Number 4. Downtown Barrie. One of my favorite places in Barrie is Sunnydale Park. This nearly 50-acre park is a tranquil respite in the city. It's home to winding walking trails, the Barrie Arboretum, an off-leash dog park, and in the winter a fabulous hill for tobogganing. Sunnydale Park is a wonderful place to visit any time of year. However, it truly shines in the spring and summer. Thanks to the large arboretum and community gardens you'll find a ton of beautiful flowers and blossoming trees. I've even dubbed it one of the best places to find flowers in Ontario. In the spring the many cherry blossoms are all in bloom. Other stunning sights are the lilac dell, the rose gardens and the butterfly garden. Number 5. Chapel Farms. A great place to visit, especially for families with small children, is Chapel Farms. Established in 1834, this family-friendly farm is home to a wealth of activities as well as festivals. They host spring, summer, and fall festivals. Every festival offers something unique. Some events include candy hunts, wagon rides, and magic shows. Plus, they have a corn maze and a variety of farm animals to meet and feed. If you're looking for things to do in Barrie in the fall then Chapel Farms is the spot to be. They have a pick-your-own pumpkin field, a haunted barn, and more fall fun. Number 6. McLaren Art Center. The McLaren Art Center in Barrie is a treasure trove of art and history. 
The center has a permanent collection of over 7,000 pieces, including paintings, sculptures, and other artwork. The center also hosts rotating exhibitions, including works by renowned artists like Andy Warhol and Rembrandt. In addition to the art on display, the McLaren Art Center also offers educational programs for all ages and special events and activities. Whether you're an art lover or just looking for something to do on a rainy day, the McLaren Art Center is worth a visit. The gallery is open Monday to Sunday from 11 p.m. to 4 p.m., and admission is free. And you can grab a coffee and bite to eat from the Lazy Tulip Cafe on site. Number 7. Barry's Heritage. A walking tour is a great way to learn more about the heritage of the city. These self-guided tours will take you through different parts of the city to admire each of their charms. There are stylish homes, prominent buildings, and landmarks all over the city that are waiting to be explored. Walk around downtown Barrie and see the Wellington Hotel, Trinity Church, the Bose Arts Classicism Home at 37 Mulcaster Street, and the Classic Revival Style Home at 124 Dunlop Street West. Go on a tour of grand homes, like 23 Teresa Street, 17 Peel Street, 101 Clapperton Street, and 96 Sunnydale Road. Or wander along Rodney and Blake Street to see some beautiful architecture built in numerous styles. Number 8. Arboretum Sunnydale Park. Barry's Arboretum Sunnydale Park is another pleasant green space to explore. Occupying a former golf course and close to the city's, Golden Mile, shopping district on Bayfield Street, Sunnydale is the city's largest park. In addition to its arboretum, the park offers plenty of other activities, from sports to gardening at the community garden. A two-kilometer trail loops around the park, circling around the over 14 acres of the arboretum, with its rich collection of 1,800 shrubs and trees. The site also features numerous flower beds, most of them are labeled so you can learn about them as you go. In addition to summer activities held elsewhere in Sunnydale, including picnics and enjoying a stroll, winter brings fun of its own, including snowshoeing and cross-country skiing. Number 9. Simcoe County Museum. 20 minutes away by car in the other direction, this time northwest, and just past the Snow Valley Ski Area, brings you to the tiny community of Minesing, Ontario. It's here you'll find the Simcoe County Museum, a repository of information and artifacts for a large region that encompasses Barry North to Aurelia, west to Collingwood, and all the way south to the outskirts of York Region. Highlights of a visit to this 300-plus acre site include a collection of 16 preserved heritage buildings dating from the 1800s, including a church, a log home, and a train station. There's even an old schoolhouse dating from 1900, which starred in the hit TV show and of Green Gables. Also worth seeing are the five galleries housing displays of artifacts including tools and machinery. There's also a reproduction of a Wendat longhouse and reproductions of old storefronts. Number 10. Base Borden Military Museum. A great conservation area to visit is the Tiffin Center. This conservation area is a great place to visit all year long, and it's only 20 minutes from downtown Barrie. Covering over 300 acres, Tiffin Center is home to a mix of habitats, from wetlands to forests. There are 17 kilometers of trails at Tiffin. The trails are great throughout the year and can be hiked, biked, snowshoed, and enjoyed on cross-country skis. If you're looking for accessible trails, try the Hawk and Maple Valley Trails. It's also home to a nine-hole disc golf course that takes you around a couple of ponds. If you visit during the winter, be sure to check out their working sugar bush. And you can take in one of the many sweet maple syrup festivals in Ontario here, the Spring Tonic Maple Syrup Festival. Number 11. Five Points Theatre. Barry's Five Points Theatre, presented by Pratt Homes and Pratt Development, is a world-class facility conveniently located in Barry's downtown and managed by the Recreation and Culture Services Department. The fully equipped theater is available for professional theater, music, dance, and non-theatrical activities including seminars, workshops, films, presentations, and conferences. 
For rental information, contact the box office at the Five Points Theatre is open Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday from 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. A box office at the show venue is open one hour before the performance until intermission for ticket purchase and pickup. The last word. So guys, these are the best things to do in Barrie, Ontario. Hope you will like it and appreciate it. People who come to this city are amazed by all of the awesome things there are to do and see. Barrie as we know it today first came into being during the War of 1812. It was a very important supply depot for the British forces during the war perhaps not surprisingly then, the city of Barrie was actually named after Sir Robert Barrie, who commanded forces in the region during that time period. So, if you love to travel and you want to see the whole world then this is the channel that gives you a list of the best places to visit in the world. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for the latest upcoming travel videos. Bye bye, see you in the next video.